Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you my daily cleaning routine. These are the things I like to do on pretty much a daily basis just to keep my house in shape in between when I deep clean. So if you're interested, let's get started. I like to start cleaning in my bedroom. I just feel like when you get your bedroom clean and your bed nice and made, it helps to kind of motivate you to continue on throughout the rest of your house and neaten everything up. So as you can see, our room is not that clean. There's clothes kind of thrown around everywhere. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pick everything up, starting with folding our pajamas that we wore last night. And I'll put those away in our pajama drawers. And then the next thing I like to do is just make the bed. I honestly feel like when you have a made bed, it kind of sets your whole day up for success. It's really nice to look at a neat made bed and I just feel like it kind of jump starts the whole day. It makes me a lot more productive when I start by making my bed first and also I think it just instantly helps your room look 10 times cleaner. So I'll just go ahead and make my bed and throw all my pillows back on that were on the floor and then I will go over to the closet and just start to kind of pick up some clothes and shoes and everything like that that has just been kind of thrown around and I mean you can't expect your house to be perfect all the time. Of course my house gets messier than this even but I really just like to start in here, put everything away and then go room by room and kind of tackle it that way. our bathroom. I don't know about you guys, but my bathroom counter seems to constantly be the catch-all spot. As you can see, I've got some random necklaces and hair clips, q-tips, aspirin bottles, just everything all over the counter and my sink has all these little toothpaste spots on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start by clearing off that whole counter. We actually have a lot of updates to do to our bathroom, but we're gonna just try and keep it as nice as we can until we can redo it. So I'm going through with my bleach cleaner. This is a DIY bleach cleaner that I actually have a video on how to make this yourself at home on my channel and I will leave that video link in the description box below. This is an awesome disinfectant and it really does a good job of cleaning up my whole bathroom. So I sprayed that all over the counter and then I wiped down the sink and then I also like to wipe down everything that's on my little tray here. For some reason our bathroom tends to get a lot of, I guess you could say dust. <laughs> But it just kind of gets uh, humid in here from showering and everything like that, so everything seems to have a coat of dust on it from that for some reason. If you guys have any tips for trying to keep your house like less dusty, please let me know in the comments below if you guys have any tips or tricks for me as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down all the sides of the toilet and then I go through with just regular Comet and scrub that all down really quick. Now I'm just going to quickly wipe off my mirror using this vinegar cleaner. This is also featured in my DIY cleaning video linked below. And this is awesome for just getting off all those little toothpaste splatters and everything like that that's been settled on the mirror. And once that's done, I just like to light my candle. This one smells so yummy. It's the gingerbread house candle from Target. And once that's done, our bathroom is nice and neat. And if you guys want to see a more in detailed video of how I deep clean my bathroom, leave me a comment below. Below, letting me know that that's something that you would like to see and I can definitely get around to putting that up for you. This was also the day that I needed to throw in a load of bath towels. I'm using the all free and clear detergent and then I use regular Clorox bleach on my towels. I'm obsessed with white towels. I just feel like they end up coming out so clean. And once that's done, I'm gonna move up to my kitchen and I'm gonna start by clearing off our kitchen table. As you can see, there's just like a pen and notebook and some food that needs to be put away and a sweater that needs to be folded. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start clearing that all off. And then I'm going to go in with my Pledge Multi-Surface. This is in the Glade Rain Shower scent, so it smells really good. And I absolutely love using this Pledge Multi-Surface on all of my wooden surfaces. And I also use it on my appliances as well. It works really good for getting off all the dirt. And then I'll grab our coats and put Lola's leashes and everything in the hall closet. And then light my candle in my kitchen. And it just looks so pretty once it's all cleared off. Okay. 
And then I'll go through with that same pledge multi-surface and give my appliances a really nice wipe down. I just notice fingerprints and everything like that on the handles and I just like to kind of go through and make sure that it doesn't get too overwhelming. So I'll go through and wipe down my whole fridge and then I'll also do the same thing on my dishwasher. So if you guys watched my kitchen deep cleaning routine, you would know that I like to run my dishwasher and hand wash my dishes at night. And if you have not seen that video yet, I will have that linked in the bottom bar below. But I like to put away my dishes in the morning, and then once I put away all my hand wash dishes, I like to wipe down the counter, and then I'll unload my dishwasher. And then if I have any dishes that are maybe left over from the night before, I'll throw those in here as well as any breakfast dishes that I might have, just anything that's kind of gathered up in the sink. I'll throw it back in the dishwasher and then I'll keep my dishwasher kind of free and uh, available to load throughout the rest of the day. So I like to go through also with that same vinegar solution and wipe down all of my kitchen counters and I'll also go through on my stove and just kind of make sure there's no leftover crumbs or little grease splatters or anything like that still remaining. So I just kind of like to neaten up the area where we keep our shoes by the back door and then I'll also go ahead and empty out the garbage and replace it with a clean bag as well. So if you guys have a dog, you know how quickly pet hair and dirt from outside can accumulate on your floors, especially if you've got hardwood floors like me. So I like to make sweeping a daily habit. I like to just to kind of go through and make sure that there's no crumbs or dog hair or anything like that. And I just feel like if I do this on a daily basis, it's really quick. It takes me about five minutes to do this, maybe even less. And it really helps from the dog hair and everything like that kind of accumulating. I'm just kind of picky about it. I don't like seeing dog hair on the bottom of my socks or anything like that. So keeping up with it on a daily basis definitely helps to keep it all under control. So I'll just go ahead and sweep all my floors. And then I'll also go through with my shark steam mop and do a quick little cleaning of my kitchen floors. Now, I don't know if you guys could see, but I was spraying that same vinegar solution onto the spot that I'm about to mop. I don't really like the cleaning solution that comes with this because I feel like it left my floor feeling a little bit sticky, but this vinegar and water solution is really great. It gets off all of the little paw prints and all the extra pet hair that may have not been picked up by the broom. So after I'm done with the kitchen, I'm gonna move into the living room. And as you can see, Lola has toys everywhere. Our blankets are just kind of laying there crazily. Our pillows need to be readjusted and everything just needed a really good wipe down. So I use Pledge Multi-Surface on this glass table and then I like to dust all of our picture frames and all of our little decorations that we have on this table. And then I like to just kind of put everything back where it belongs and continue neatening up this whole room. So I'll just go through and pick up all of Lola's toys and then I like to dust our little entertainment center and then I will dust our end tables, just kind of straighten up everything, put my coasters back on the tray with the remotes where they belong. So Lola loves to lay on a heated blanket, so I'll just clear that up and put that back in the closet and then I'll just straighten up the pillows and I don't really fold my blankets, I just kind of like to toss them over the back of the couch. I just think it looks a lot more stylish and then I'll make sure that that all my magazines are put away and then I'll go ahead and dust our end table, dust off all my books and everything like that. And then I'll take that same vinegar cleaner. I'm telling you guys I use this stuff for everything and I'm just going to spray some on a paper towel and go through on our couch and wipe down all of Lola's little paw prints. With a dark leather couch you definitely see every one of them so I just go through and wipe that all down and then using that same pledge multi-surface I'm going to go ahead and dust off my mantle and all of my little decorations that are on there as well. I love my mantle right now, you guys. It's so cute for fall. I absolutely love it. It's just this giant strand of leaves that I got at Michael's, and I just kind of draped it around what I already had up there. And then I'll go through and vacuum, and you guys, this is so funny. Lola is so afraid of the vacuum that she tries to bite it and chase it while I'm vacuuming, so we have to keep her out of the room. I love my Dyson, but the cord is starting to get really annoying, and it's starting to get really heavy, so I want to get the lightweight version of this vacuum, the cordless one. 
I want to know if you guys have that vacuum and if you like it or not and if you think it's worth getting because I'm definitely looking for something a little bit more lightweight and Ryan is honestly the best boyfriend ever when I was filming this he decided to like me a beautiful fire and we love having fires especially this time of year with the holidays coming up and just being a little bit colder outside having fires inside is just one of the most relaxing things ever and it makes our whole living room look so beautiful and not to mention Lola loves fires too So once I've dried my towels, I'll just bring them back up and start to fold them. I love white towels, you guys. I'm so obsessed with white towels and white sheets because I love the way they smell when they come out of the wash after they've been bleached. And I like to fold all of my towels this way in kind of a hotel style, I guess. I just love the way that it looks inside of my linen closet. I think it's just so nice and clean to look at and I absolutely love this. And now I have to iron, which is my least favorite part of this whole thing, but thankfully this spray starch that I make from scratch, also in my video, um, it makes ironing really, really easy and quick. So I'll just turn on a TV show normally while I iron and I'll get all of this done as fast as I can so I can move on to chores that I like a little bit better. On to cleaning my beauty room as you can see my dressing table is chaotic right now I mean I know I have about a million products on it but I like when they're kind of in their own little place like I like to put all of my hair products on one side and all of my body products on the other side this is kind of my go-to place where I've got like all my body lotions all my deodorants lip glosses chapsticks perfumes hats scarves <laughs> you name it, it's on this table. And it does tend to get a little bit dusty, so once I've kind of beaten everything up, I'll just go through and dust the parts that I can see. I don't normally take absolutely everything off unless I'm doing a deep clean. So if you guys want to see me deep clean my beauty room or you want more of a tour of my beauty room, comment below and let me know if that's something that you guys would enjoy seeing, and I will definitely put that up for you. But once I've cleaned off my whole dressing table, it looks really nice and neat. And I also dust my nail polish rack, but for some reason that part did not get filmed. So I dusted that off and then I'll go and I'll clean up my desk. My desk is also where I set to do my makeup. So you guys can see I've got just makeup everywhere, face lotion, and just kind of random things thrown about. So I'll just go through and put everything back in the place it needs to be. And then I love to use this Method Lavender Cleaner. I don't know why I use this one on my desk, but I just love the way that the lavender smells and it's really calming and relaxing. And I tend to do a lot of sitting at my desk, so I just like to have that smell all around me while I'm working. And I like to just kind of make sure that there's no fingerprints or little bits of makeup, dust, or anything like that. So once that's all wiped down, my desk is nice and clean. And I just love the way that this looks, you guys. I think it's just so pretty and it's so peaceful. And I just love when my house is just sparkling. So that is it for my daily cleaning routine. Comment below and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video or if there's any other cleaning related videos you guys would wanna see. I'm definitely trying to expand my cleaning videos. So let me know what you guys think of them in the comments below. And make sure that you're subscribed if you have not already subscribed to my channel. And add me on social media. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you in my next video.